I'm not trying to make anyone therapists. I think the stages of grief are helpful in helping me to not take things personally. So I tend to be, um, you're either a flight or fight person generally, and I tend to be a fight person. I want to show you that you're wrong and I'm right. And so if you are falsely accusing me of something that you had totally agreed on and we went through the treatment and the dog didn't do well and now he's dead and now you're calling and screaming at me, it takes a lot of effort on my part not to fight back. And I think thinking about the stages of grief really helps me because if you're in the stages of grief, I mentioned last hour a little bit about I mean, if you truly have someone who's not in their right mind, communication skills aren't going to help, and they, the people may very well need professional help. But stages of grief, grief puts you not in your right mind. And you can come back to your right mind, but when you are in these stages, you really aren't making necessarily rational, coherent decisions, and you will do weird things. Um, and so this is something where... Um, they don't necessarily go in this order. There isn't a set time frame. But knowing that anger is a stage of grief really does help me in thinking. And I might be chanting it in my head as I'm listening. They're grieving, they're grieving, they're grieving, they're grieving, they're grieving. So that I don't say, stop yelling at me. And you can set boundaries, too. And so there's always boundary setting. Um, and the ways to do that may involve some empathy statements, too. Um, but there are times where when you really know it's grief, it's going to be less of a fight and less stressful for everyone to just listen and then in the end to, to be able to try and help them. So this is uh, Homer's gone um, and he's gotten a bad diagnosis from Dr. Hibbert. Now a little death anxiety is normal. Uh, you can expect to go through five stages. The first is denial. No way, because I'm not dying. Second is anger. Why you little doctor? Uh, after that comes fear. What's after fear? What's after fear? Bargaining. Doc, you gotta get me out of this. I'll make it worth your while. Finally, acceptance. Well, we all gotta go sometime. Mr. Simpson, your progress astounds me. So probably your clients aren't gonna go through that that well. Um, although I thought that was an outstanding portrayal on, on the cartoon of those things. And, and it's, if a client gets stuck in a stage um, that may be where you do need to seek help. Again, I'm not trying to get you to, to help them through it, but you can have a conversation with them and maybe help them get the help they need.